darkness rules your heart. It gives me control. Muscle and sinew that once obeyed you now rebels against you. How you can remain here at all confounds the mind. It's still my heart. You think you can just come in and take over? I'm not going to sit by and let that happen. Hmm. Don't even entertain any notions of escaping me, boy. In the end, your heart will be engulfed by mine forever. Wrong. You're gonna get shown the door, old man. As I recall, you couldn't even handle your own darkness. How then will you triumph over mine? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. So that's how it is, is it? Someone else has set foot in your heart. Ericus, you sly fox. I'm not afraid of what the darkness holds now. Even if you do wrest control of my heart from me. Even if you cast me into the deepest, darkest abyss. You'll never sway me from the one cause that pushes me to keep on fighting. Whatever the cost, I'm ready to pay it. Brave words, to be sure. But I'm a patient man. We can take as much time as we need to settle this little property dispute. However, know this. You are just one of many roads that I might choose to take. Trust me, I made certain of that. <laughs> Mr. Master. Oh, come on, you don't even know your pal? Please tell me the amnesia was just a sick joke. Boy, this is some cliche. <sighs> hey, you're not. Terra. <laughs> just gotta check. <laughs> As if. Well, don't sweat it. I got your back. Who are you? Hmm? Why, hello. It's not often I get visitors. Please, call me Aqua. Why are you sitting here all alone in the realm of darkness? How did you end up here? Well, I can tell you this is my second time on these shores. But unfortunately, much like the first... I do not remember who I am or whence I came. Everything was washed away in whatever currents carried me here. That's too bad. I know I've been here a long time. Wandering through the endless hours. Unable to escape. You wish to return to your own world? It's my friends. I promised I'd be there for them. Your friends? 
Somewhere in the scraps of memory I have left, you remind me of a boy I once knew. He is very much like you. True to his friends and kind, this boy travels to many worlds and fights to keep the light safe. Keep the light safe? I've been away too long. Did something happen out there? Are the worlds in danger? Sad to say, they nearly fell to darkness more than once. But at every turn, that boy arrived with keyblade in hand to save the day. Huh? Wait a sec. Is his name Terra or Ven? Neither of those, I'm afraid. Should have known. How long has it been since I met him? At least a year now, perhaps more. Back then, my heart was clouded with vengeance. I did terrible things, both to him and his friends. I brought unhappiness to more lives than one. I felt something must be done. Was that why? A means of clearing my conscience, or perhaps out of a sort of scholarly instinct? While the boy slept his long sleep, I hid the results of my research inside him, transplanting the data to where it might best serve a purpose. In fact, I would like to believe maybe he can set things right. A boy like him who touches so many hearts, he could open the right door and save all those people whose lives I managed to ruin. So many are still waiting for their new beginning, their birth by sleep. Even me, and even you. What's this boy's name? His name is...
Sora. Riku. Your mind's made up? Yeah. Just, they really need me. I have to go. I am who I am. Because of them. <laughs> See you soon.